Here's a quick look at Google Calendar and how its shared and public calendar features could be very useful for you. Right now we're looking at my calendar, the thing that I have going on this week. Pretty, pretty easy the early part of the week. Um, but if I click, I can add my wife's calendar to it, layer on my daughter's, you know, they have dance classes and stuff, and start seeing a whole picture of what's going and sort of hide, hide and show things as I want. Um, these four calendars all sync to my iPhone, they all sync to my wife's iPhone, so if she has anything on the road, it'll pop up here, vice versa. It's very handy for that. And then even better, you can add other calendars. And I have, for example, here's my designer I work with. I can click hers, and she chooses to only show me free and busy time for her, which is good. So if you know, I know not to schedule a meeting for us at that time or whatever. Uh, the Atlanta Falcons, you can get calendars for virtually any sports team. So we click that, and today they already have the final score in there where the Falcons got demolished. Um, if I jump ahead to next week, you know, you've got Saints, Falcons. I know it's at 1 o'clock, and you can get demolished there too, probably. Um, other kinds of calendars we have. I have a buddy that's circumnavigating the globe right now. He's got a beautiful boat sailing around the world. I follow his blog, of course, to see what's going on. But he has a calendar he set up where it shows where he is and where he plans to be. And it, I can click forward through the year, and he's got it all roughly sketched out. That's pretty cool. Uh, the U.S. holidays is exactly what you would expect. U.S. holidays. If we were to click through to Christmas, you can see, you know, there's the holidays there. Um, and of course, I could unhide or rehide a few of those. And then adding and manipulating events is very easy too. We'll suppose Monday I had a meeting at four, someone called. I can block it in here and say meeting meeting with Joe. And it's on my calendar, that's all there is. If I click on it, I can choose to edit the event, set up reminders. The reminders are wonderful. I'll have it send me a reminder for ten hours before, so I'll get an email that morning just to keep it fresh. I'll have it send me a text message thirty minutes before, so that way it'll remind me in case I get busy with some work, it'll send me a text message and whew, Got to go, hit the road, make it there in plenty of time. Pop-ups it has where it'll pop up on your screen. I don't use those too much, but they're very very useful for some folks, so that's good. And you can add other details here. And that's really it. And then if Joe calls me and says, ooh, we need to slide that meeting to three, I can say, okay, no problem. Slide to three, it's synchronized up. It's wonderful. So there you have it. There's Google Calendar in a nutshell. Uh, hope that helps. Thanks.